Hello everyone! Hello and Merry Christmas from Lucky and I! Mwah. Today I'm going to show you how I made a stocking for our stocking swap collab that Annabelle of Annabelle's and Ben's Antics came up with. I'm super excited. I am making my stocking for Annabelle herself and I can't wait to show you how I did that. I didn't have a stocking pattern, so I took a pattern off of a stocking I already had. This is one of our kitty stockings. So I just laid it down on the purple cotton that I decided to make her stocking out of and traced it. Now I have to add my embroidery that I want to on the top of it. I did not cut it out before adding the embroidery because the stocking wasn't wide enough to fit into my hoop. So that way I just outlined it so I knew where to center my stitching, but it would still fit into the embroidery hoop. I am embroidering the words, Christmas is magic, as I am going with a Disney Frozen theme for her stocking. One of Annabelle's first videos that I ever saw was when she was making an Anna from Frozen cosplay. It was from the Frozen short, Frozen Fever, which is spring theme. If you're just glancing at Annabelle's and Ben's YouTube or Instagram page, you'll notice immediately how much they love cosplay and also Disney. So that's why I thought this would be a perfect theme for her stocking. And be sure to check out her YouTube channel, which I have linked below. In addition to the embroidery, Christmas is magic, I also wanted to add a patch when I had this wonderful fleece that has Anna and Elsa on it from the first ever Frozen movie, and it also has the word sisters are forever, but I'm going to focus on the images of the two famous sisters. I've never really made a patch before, but I decided that I was going to do it double-sided because I wanted to make sure it had a very nice finished edge. I was going to sew those together in a circle, leaving just a little room so that I would be able to turn it right sides out, and then I'm going to sew up that little hole. So it's all together now. I wanted to recenter exactly where the embroidery ended up and the patch. So I recentered it with my stocking and now I'm going to cut it out. I am then going to pin my patch in place so I can stitch it on with my sewing machine. I am going to top stitch the patch on with a zigzag stitch, which on my machine is number four. I have to put on a special foot for it. And then I'm just going to go all the way around, sewing that patch on to the top of my stocking. Now it's time for the second side of the stocking. I thought, you know what? I could just leave it at one, but what's the fun in that? Gotta decorate both sides. So on this side, I decided to do a giant embroidered floral A for Annabelle. I then use the other side of my stocking as a pattern to cut out the second side. So here are the two outer portions of my stocking, but I still need a lining. I used some more of that frozen fleece to line the stocking, using my outer pieces as a pattern to cut that out.
It was then time to sew the lining pieces together. So I put the pretty sides together and pinned it all the way around, leaving an opening at the top, of course, and then did the same thing with my outer fabric that is embroidered. I then sewed it all the way around, leaving an opening at the top where I can flip it right side out. Now I snipped the curve right where the stocking goes down into the foot so that it would lay better. It is time to combine the outer fabric with the lining fabric. To do that, I am going to put them one inside of the other, pretty sides facing each other, and then pin around the top, leaving just a little opening so that I'll be able to turn it right sides out. And then I'm going to take the lining and just stuff it right back down into the outer fabric. And it lays pretty well. It worked out all right. Now it's time to decorate some more. I have some beautiful white fringe trim and some white braided trim that I'm going to add to the top of the stocking. First, I'm going to add the white fringe trim, cutting just enough to circle all the way around. And then I also am going to make a loop out of the white braided trim so the stocking has somewhere to hang on the chimney. That's pretty necessary. Don't want to forget that. Once I have the white fringe trim put on, I'm now going to go over the top of that and secure the white braided trim as a final touch. Ta-da! Here it is. Side A, if you will, with a beautiful floral design, and then side B, which has Christmas is magic and my frozen sister patch. And then added a few goodies to the stocking because that's what stockings are supposed to do. They're supposed to hold all of these wonderful goodies that we get to open on Christmas morning. So I stuffed my stocking and then I sent it off to Australia. So my stocking swap buddy, who is going to send me a stocking, is Billy, but she is in Japan. And right now, Japan is not sending mail anywhere. Right, Leslie? Yeah, well, kind of. I, they're not sending it to US or like other countries outside of Japan. Uh, so, not sure when that'll happen, but uh, when it does, I'll let y'all know and <laughs> we, we will get to see that fun stocking. Thank you all so much for being here and for watching my video. I am Marie of Historical Bell, and I am wishing all of you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and a wonderful New Year. It's gonna be 2023, what? Can't believe that. Also, I would just like to let you know if you're feeling in the given mood and wanna spread some Christmas cheer, uh, I also have a Kofi link below if you would like to give me a little tip if you enjoy my sewing adventures. Until next time, happy sewing.